infirmity or a broken bone, a lot of us have had an x-ray, radiation helps get a clear picture of what's wrong. But too much of this can make you sick, even kill you. Dr. Joe has uncovered a new way to shield you from the deadly rays. Well, Frank and Kathy, take a look. At first glance, this looks like typical material, but it's actually just as powerful as sheet metal and has the potential to save countless lives. Hazmat teams are called to the most dangerous scenes, risking their lives, uncertain of what they'll encounter. This bulky suit is their first line of protection. We kind of go on a, an all-hazards approach. Uh, our suits will kind of a little bit of everything. But it won't protect crews from a radioactive spill, a nuclear power plant leak, or the unthinkable, a dirty bomb. And that's one of those things that we just, we would have to basically back out until we either got some uh, other companies to come in and, and, and assist us with that. And radiation exposure isn't always an accident or terrorism. Each time you get an x-ray or CT scan, you soak it up. So do workers giving the test. Heavy lead smocks block part of your body. But one Florida doctor, Ronald DeMeo, wanted something better. I came up with a fabric for finite radiation. DeMeo claims the fabric works just as well as some lead aprons. So Fox 13 put it to the test, sending two radiation badges, one inside the vest, another outside, through a CAT scanner. A week later, the results. The suit, once we found out and got the badge readings back, it did reduce the exposure by 89.2%, which I'm telling you, I was shocked. Brandy Reardon is a radiation safety consultant. She is impressed. The lightweight fabric is going to really revolutionize the industry. Still, you won't wear this fabric shield anytime soon. It's not an industry standard in healthcare, at least not yet. We're getting up as high as about 96 millirinkins per hour which is our uh, exposure source. But it's got the attention of this hazmat crew. And with your material, simply just putting it over, definitely drops it down. It doesn't remove it completely, but it looks like it definitely drops it down considerably. Each suit can cost up to $1,500. Uh, for them, it's free because I'm giving this to you. Really? Yeah. An option they're glad to have, but hope they'll never use. With this gift, we now have a suit that at least one person can go in there and try to cover something until we got the cavalry to come in. The fabric is called Demron. It contains no lead. And unlike hazmat suits and lead aprons, Demron allows you to radiate your heat so you can stay comfortable longer. Some cancer patients with radioactive implants inside their breasts are already wearing the fabric, which keeps the radiation from exposing others in the household. Expect more patient-friendly uses in the near future.